Okay, I've barely uploaded for the past couple months. Basically, I came back to my dance degree, which I'd had a year out because of chronic fatigue and that, and it didn't go as smoothly as we'd hoped. Yeah, disappointing, whatever. But I kind of miss this. Like, I do go back and watch my vlogs. That sounds weird, but like, there's stuff I want to see in them, like me with my family and friends and stuff, so yeah. I'm starting this now because I just finished this book last night and I've been reading a lot more. As you can tell over on my Instagram, I now have like highlights of books I've read and what I think. This was a chunky one. This is over 700 pages and I've seen so many people reading it and I finished it last night and it is phenomenal. It is heartbreaking. It is sad most of the time and everyone warns you that and then you're like oh no and then yeah but I've never read anything like it and I just want to remember the fascination I feel in this moment of the journey this takes you on and how attached you can become to people and like how quickly 700 pages can just vanish. I was shocked towards the end I was like preparing myself for one thing and then the other thing happened and I don't appreciate that but yeah check trigger warnings if that's something you need to check because yeah this is more for me to remember how much I enjoyed reading this mammoth of a book. I'm about to start this is the next one I'm going to read so it's Wednesday right now I'm going home on Friday we're gonna chop off the hair it's become too much. I'm drowning in it all the time. Um, so we're just going to chop a load off. Which I'm kind of nervous for because I definitely hide behind long hair. But it's too much. It's just too much now. Red Taylor's version came out last week. And it's phenomenal. The 10 minute version of All Too Well has been on repeat. Harry's just dropped nail varnish and stuff. That was fun. Adele's coming this Friday. Supposedly, Harry is coming soon. <gasps> Spider-Man trailer came out this morning. Mm, I'm so excited. I have to wait another month. That's a little recap for you. I have no idea what else will be in this video. <laughs> officially transitioned into vlogmas it's now the first of december if you were around last year i had a harry potter lego advent calendar um we had we went different we've gone for the avengers one you can't even see it this morning was iron man or tony and then it's like iron man helmet which you can't put on unless you take his hair off and his little Christmas jumper, which says Tony on the back, which I thought was so cute. Um, and yeah, and it's like he's going, Phew. so am I a child? Physically, no, mentally, maybe. We have the return of this one from my mum. It had this super cute ornament on it, so I'm going to take that home with me. And it can go on the tree at home, um, which will be... This weekend, not that we get a tree, but that I'm going home. It's now the third, nothing interesting happened. I am about to head to my hip hop assessment and I'm nervous. I woke up in the middle of the night last night and had to do all the routines, just like in my pajamas before I could sleep again because I was so scared I was gonna forget them. This is actually the only assessment I'm doing this term because I got ill, which is very annoying. But no pressure or anything, and it's at 5.30 on a Friday, like, anyway, but this is the outfit, you can't even see it, grey joggers, I'm going to be wearing these trainers which are absolutely wrecked, because I need new ones for hip hop, but I just never get around to buying new ones, but also these are comfy, so like, we are going to have a cat moment, just because we're hiding some of our face. Like, how can you not wear this and not feel cool? Because basically in hip-hop, you've just got to feel cool, otherwise you're never going to look half decent. Then we got a nice men's shirt, 
because the routines we do you want baggy stuff anyway and then it's just like how you move rather than what your body looks like in a way um this is me nervous talking because no one's here to talk to so i apologize but yeah this is like my favorite hip-hop outfit hence i'm wearing it for the assessment because we want to feel comfortable yeah but i'm super nervous so wish me luck we're going home tomorrow i haven't packed that's a task for this evening also the advent calendar has been a bit disappointing yesterday it was just loads of like these things um and i mean like loads of them but you can't like oh my god i sure you can't like connect them together and build anything like they just add on to tony um i also added some berries because it was just there um and then today it was a fireplace i think this is a fireplace that's my guess we'll find out with a little reef which is cute i got some bun nuts in um the other one yesterday which is very useful and then i got this today which i've eaten it so it's gone but it was so yummy and so cute because it's like a little reindeer and it's filled with cookie dough i'm gonna stop nervous babbling and i will see you after it's quite a bit later the assessment went okay it didn't go bad so can't really complain but now i need to pack it's like I keep slipping stop slipping it's like quarter to nine and i haven't even like started packing still we got a nice bit of tailor in the background i'm getting through books like nothing else in this video i finished they both died at the end i was still shocked that they both actually died at the end like it's literally the title and I still was convinced myself they weren't gonna, and then, yeah. But it's a good read. It is a really good read. I see why it's popular. And then I read this one, Dates Jones and the Six. This was really fun and different. It took me a little while to get into it, but I liked when they were recording the album and everything. Like, they really went into that side of it as well. I feel like this one, a lot of people have been recommending, but for anyone that doesn't know, it's like all written as if it's interview dialogue, so there's no, like it's all as people saying it in an interview and it's like a fictional band in the 70s it's really interesting and then i've started this one where the chord has sing which is already i'm hooked i'm 62 pages in and i already know i'm gonna love this one there you go a few more book racks it's like a full month i don't know how to pack for that <laughs> It's not too many clothes for a month, but I don't know how I'm going to fit them all in. than I expected like pretty much all my clothes are in this one case and like I've actually packed multiple jumpers because I always don't pack enough jumpers in winter but this is my issue in that I don't really know well it's stupid I'm like when I want these like there's no occasion I know of that I'm gonna want these but I kind of want to somehow get to a new year's party and I'm like would I want to wear these? But I've got my boots, so I don't need them. <sighs> See, you sometimes need someone to let you know. These are my next books to read. And I don't know if to take all of them, because I also want to read the Harry Potters while I'm home. But like, at the rate I've been going through them, that's tiny. And this is like Shakespeare's sonnets, so like, yeah. We are currently standstill at the bottom of the M1 because there's been an accident. I've been sat here for almost half an hour without moving, so that's fun. 
I should have gone the other way. Mm. I just want to get home and I don't have any lunch. And it's like 20 past 12. Which is really minor things because I think it might have been a really bad accident. So I'm fortunate to have not been in it. But still. 